Four spice shared scallops. Avocado egg rolls. Crispy shared wontons. Wow. Mexican, Asian, Indian. It sounds like a fusion, confusion. How are you? Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. My name is Amy. Amy, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Likewise, I love that smile. Thank you. What's the style of food here? What is it? Is it classic American? Or... No, I think it's a classic Mexican. With an American twist. American twist. Or a twisted chef. Or a twist. <laughs> is there a misprint on there or is that me? Grilled Caesar salad? No. Really? The lettuce is grilled. Uh huh? Chop it on the grill. You never heard of that? No, it no. hasn't hit London yet. <laughs> Okay, I'll start off with that. The grilled Caesar. No chicken, just... Uh, just... Do you know what? Throw the chicken in there, why not? Throw the chicken yeah. in there? I'll go for the... Um, um, uh, hello. Hi, how are you? Before you steal my knife and fork, can you say hello? Oh. Yeah. My yes. name is Kevin. Kevin, good to see you, bud. Can I help you? Yeah, we're thrilled to have you here. I hope you can make some sense out of this shit. <sighs> yeah. Kevin! I need you. Can you excuse me for a second? Please. You're, you're busy. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I thought it was a thief. That was random. Uh, I, I don't very know. random. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Excellent. What does Kevin do? He's a bartender. He's a bartender. Yeah, so he really shouldn't even be over here right now. So <laughs> I, I don't a even know. A bartender that just pops up and clears tables. I don't know tables. what he's doing. Multitasking. <laughs> okay, where were we? I'll go for the flash fried oysters. Um, I'll go for the grilled salmon. And as it's ready, just send it. Thank you, though. You're welcome. Yeah. Coming in, chef. I'm ringing in his orders, okay? Okay. So be prepared. To me, it's Chef Ramsay's just another customer. I mean, as long as he likes my food, we're gonna get along just fine. Good to go? Walking out. Yeah, I think he's gonna love this salad. I mean, it's a grilled lettuce. I mean, can't go wrong. Grilled salad. Come on. It is grilled. You're still amazed. I'm shocked. I've never thought about it, but it's true. Like, wait, why are we grilling lettuce? Sorry for interrupting, just two seconds. But this is a first for me. A grilled Caesar salad. <laughs> no, but they actually grilled the lettuce. Um, can you just show a hand if anyone else has ever had a grilled Caesar salad before? Anybody here, ladies? No? Sorry for interrupting. Sorry. Oh, geez. Oh. I always get nervous when a chef serves me the butt of the lettuce. When you've got the butt of the lettuce on, you can never clean the lettuce properly. And unfortunately, it's not very nice inside. Dry chicken. The salad looks hideous. Why oh, is it so spicy? Everything is spicy, everything. Jesus. Thanks, Danny. Grilled Caesar salad. I'm terrified to bring out of this burger. I don't even think you could swallow. <laughs> Be dried. Here is the cowboy burger. Cowboy. cowboy. With a very small hat on top. Look at the bun. Where'd you start? <laughs> Honestly, look at that. Expect a decent bun. This is a bland, greasy, cooked to hell. Damn. Thanks, man. That is dreadful. Dreadful. I'm so sorry. Thank you. It's not your fault. Well, I was shocked, disappointed, embarrassed. Good. Beef pies up, guys. But one thing I have that's a little different is an Australian meat pie. The Australian meat pie is the number one staple in Australia. I have brought them to America, and Chef Ramsay will absolutely love it. And that's Ramsay, by the way. She's not gonna like it. What? She's not gonna like it. <laughs> So this is the... The Australian meat pie. Oh. The beef. Oh, time to go 
go down under. Where's that thing? What a mess. I mean, that is disgusting. That Australian pie can flock off back to Australia with pleasure. I've got raw, doughy pastry on top and soggy, gooey stuff on the bottom. One word for this. Meow. Cat food. Be disgusting. Is that for me? Yeah. Wow. Right? We Thank have you. the ribs and the rest is the coming ribs. out. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. How is it? They have a weird saltiness to them. Almost like they've been in a brine. Would you find out and just ask them? Sure. You think of ribs and the excitement, the stickiness, the deliciousness of it. But they're very salty. Yeah. He said they're salty. It was almost like they were in a brine, and nothing was that impressive to them. They taste salty to you? No. Nope. This is soul food, and I really don't think Chef Ramsay know how to cook soul food. Just like I wouldn't know how to make food that British eat. Here's the mac. It's nice and hot. Sizzle. Right. OK. So, Chanel, are you going to start the pork chops? Just one pork chop. Yeah, one pork chop. I'm scared to cook it. Here's the mac and cheese. Where's that been? It's bubbling away. Can you hear that? I... Has that been in the microwave? Yes. What, for three days? Can you hear it crackling? Yes, I do. It sounded like the little Rice crispy Treats with the little elves and didn't look that good. Thank you. OK. Depressing. One thing that should always stand out is a bloody good mac and cheese, and that's just bland, overcooked, and just dreadful and really bad. Don't cook it too, too fast. When you cook pork chops, you got to stand right there and keep turning and keep turning it. Miss Jean nitpicks. You just want to tell her, get the hell out the kitchen. Why is there so much smoke? I don't know. Might be from the grease. Damn. Something flew in my eye. Then I'll finish with that, thank you. How is it? Mac and cheese, well, ooh, ouch. It's bland, there's no seasoning, and it's just cooked to hell. OK. He said to macaroni and cheese, it's bland. It's what? It's bland. That's good. Taste it. It's real good. I'm not going to say the macaroni is not good when it is good. So my pork chop? You need another no. set of soap. No, that's no, fine. Thank you, sweet. How sad does that look? Honestly, come on. How fucking pressing is that? Are you serious? Could y'all please come look at the pork chop? Please. He got it sitting up. <laughs> I'm just like, the map of America. It's down on the East Coast. There's California, where that little dark spot is. From the Central, Midwest. And we have Seattle. We're here. Pittsburgh. God bless America. Fuck off, fly. <laughs> Chanel, did you taste it? If you got to stand up, that means it's too hard. I'm not the cool. OK, so I see you had a chance to taste the pork chop. Uh -huh. And uh, what did you think? Yeah, dry, like um, a mouthful of sand. Great. It's drier than the Sahara Desert. All right. Even the flies, no longer interested. OK, is there anything else you wanted me to get for you? Or... A wheel for that bike out there. That way, I can get the fuck out of here. <laughs> OK, Grace. So. Thank you. Yes. How do you eat this? Where'd you get? Where'd you get? How much lobster is in there? Let's see if I can put the lobster back together. There's the claws. No wonder this place is losing money. Jessica, have you seen how much lobster is in this roll? Mm -hmm. Look at mm -hmm. all that. I know. It's a whole lobster. There's more. Lobsters don't have six claws. Bloody hell. Does every sandwich have that in there? Yes, it's typically a, a pound, a little over a, a pound. A pound? Yes. That should be the whole weight of the lobster, not the actual weight of the meat. The portion sizes of everything are huge. That's part of the problem. Mm -hmm. Nothing toasted, soggy, disgusting. Mm -hmm. That dummy, I'm done. Yes. We just show uh, Mark that I will. roll. Thanks, honey. Thank you. I'm holding out for my chowder. <laughs> Why? What's the matter with that? This is larger than a regular lobster. What? This, he said that the total weight of a lobster should be a pound, not the meat in itself. He said this is where you're losing your money. 
I think Lisa not being around has drain mock and it makes a difference on the food. What else sucks? The lobster roll sucks. What? There is too much lobster. I've never heard anyone complain about too much lobster. Well, it's like having too much money. <laughs> Mind blown. Here's your chowder. Okay. Nice. Thanks, honey. You're welcome. Wow. Ay, ay, ay. Flowery, bland, no clams to be seen anywhere. I mean, this is New England. That's what hurts. Jessica. You don't look impressed. Just have a little taste in there for me, please. Oh, it's very thick. It's flowery. It is. I wouldn't even paste my fucking wallpaper with that. Um, God, that's dreadful. Yep. That's just bland, I love Mac tasting. gloopy fucking glue. Yeah, it's not good at all. What's inside the ravioli, please? Uh, it's a five cheese stuffed ravioli. And the five cheeses are? Uh, I'm not sure. Well. It's a pre-made ravioli. So they're not homemade? They're, those are not homemade. If we don't even make them here, it'd be nice to know what's inside them. I'll find out right now for you. Thank you. How's it going? I need to find out what cheeses are in the ravioli. What cheeses are in the ravioli? Yeah. yeah. What kind of cheese is in the bread ravioli? Read the box. It's a ricotta cheese, Joe. So. It's a ricotta cheese. Oh, my God. Ah, horrible. There's something deep, fried, frozen. It doesn't even taste like cheese. Jesus, no. You got a whole uh, whey, and you got American grana. And uh, a skim cheese. Yeah. OK, perfect. You got it? Thank you, yes. Yeah, not good. Ramsey, I checked on the cheeses for you. Uh, mascarpone. Mascarpone. Ricotta. Ricotta. Uh, also, uh, American Garana. Something called a uh, cheese whey and culture blend. Where the fuck is that from in Italy? I don't. I have no idea where that's from. Ooh. And a uh, skimmed cheese. Skimmed cheese in a fried ravioli. What does that mean? It's fat-free cheese dipped in fat. Dipped in fat, yeah. OK, thank you. OK. Skim cheese in a fried ravioli. Oh, got some pans. Yeah, it looks good. Hey, uh, Joe. My, my. Here, I'll yeah. bring it out, tell him. Oh, damn. Chef, this is the fish special. It's the mahi mahi. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Mm, it's mush. Yeah. Bland, greasy, no seasoning. Fish is dreadful. Um, this is a special fish. Yes, that is a special fish. Mm, it'll taste fine. It tastes like mush. Almost like it's sort of old. The food just isn't the way it used to be. With all the fighting going on, the standards and the quality, everything, it tanked. And that's special. Holy crap. OK. Uh, he said that this one right here, where the fish was just dreadful. It's all right, I'm still hungry anyway. I don't need to eat that. I absolutely think he's wrong about the mahi mahi. And I thought it was perfectly fine. It was just the way it's supposed to be. That's from the mouth of my chef that knows know, taste probably know. more, OK? That guy's up here, and I'm down here. What do I know if he cooks it good or not? I don't know. It's his opinion. I don't what want do you, you to feel bad, because you... I don't feel bad. Right. I know. I'm right. waiting right. for his opinion. What the hell? Chef Ramsey is here to help us. And my brother takes this attitude that it's all bullshit complaints. It's not. You got to listen to those complaints and keep your mouth shut. So everything is atrocious, Chef. Are you tasting the food? Yeah. I you are, yeah? The fish was cooked uh, properly. It was fresh. Yeah, so it's mush. It tastes excellent to me. OK, let me finish this. Thank you. Thank you. I don't need a guy to tell me that my food sucks. If you don't like the food, then get the fuck out of here. The linguine pescatore. Yeah. What the hell is that? What have they done to the calamari? What have they done to these bits? More tentacles here than there are in SeaWorld. That tastes as bad as it looks. Muscles of the clams were grainy, and calamari had a weird texture to it. Chef, how are you doing with the pescatory? I'm struggling. 
struggling? I'm struggling, yeah. I mean, I certainly don't get that taste of Italy, let me tell you that. And the sauce no. is so weak and it tastes disgusting.